now I have uh, 15 girls on board on my Bodies by Madison um, Inner Circle program. Um, they're paying a weekly amount. Um, it's, it's only really a few solid hours of work a week and I'm earning more now than I am in the job that I work 20 hours a week doing. Now, do you want to launch your online coaching business? And do you want to be able to use social media to attract in the right type of clients and have the clients sign on? If so, you're going to love this episode. Madison, the I'm going to introduce you in just a second, comes on to show you how she was able to scrap all the stuff that was confusing and frustrating her and how she was so easily able to sign on 15 new clients in just one day. Day. And there's no fancy tech stuff, there's no Facebook ads, there's no fancy funnels, there's no website. This is being able to use social media to bring in the right clients and sign them on board, which you're going to be able to use from today. Alright, Maddie, let's jump straight into it and I think this is going to be really, really refreshing for a lot of the coaches and trainers to be able to listen to what you've been able to so successfully do and we're just scratching the surface so it's super exciting for me to be able to see you grow so well. Let's do a wrap up. What have the results been so far? So far, I have uh, 15 girls on board on my Body by Madison uh, in the Circle program. Um, they're paying a weekly amount um, and basically I put them up on an app um, where they are logging all their nutrition for the day. They're, I set up a schedule at the beginning of the week. They log their schedule. Once they've um, done that workout, they tick it off. I'm basically just there to be a motivational system for them and I keep them accountable at the end of the day. It's, it's only really a few solid hours of work a week and I'm earning more now than I am in the job that I work 20 hours a week doing. Awesome. So, that, that is so good. And I love that as well because you're being able to help, like the results you're getting with your ladies, you know, we were talking about this before we yeah. hit record, phenomenal. And it's yeah. something that you're being able to enjoy. Now, you said something that I know that was a bit of a problem for you before, and that was kind of like the setting up all the technology stuff. Do you want to talk to the problem that you had even before that we got started? Um, yeah, so my number one problem um, that I'm not 100% confident with, I have no, I haven't, I haven't even scratched the surface when, it, surface when it comes to that, is setting up click funnels, automated responses. Um, I don't really have anywhere for people to go to get any information. I haven't done a video yet. I really want to do, um, you know, some sort of video where I can just send people where they can learn about it. So I have been, I got about a hundred comments asking for more information on my Instagram and I responded to every single person. Mm. Um, and that took up a lot of time doing that. So um, my next launch that I do, I want, I want to be set up automated so that I can sit on the couch and watch, watch it all go and, and happen in front of me. <laughs> I love that. No, no, it's really good. And I, I want every trainer and coach that's tuned in with us to really understand that the tech stuff doesn't have to be something that stops you. Do you know what I mean? Because when we got started, yeah, well, you know what? Yeah. We don't need this stuff. Let's do the stuff yeah. so we can actually just get yeah. clients on board. Yeah, and sure. I absolutely love that because like, Let's say, looking back, do you know what I mean, not even that long ago, when you were kind of like running into the problem of like, I don't know how to set click funnels up or emails or mm -hmm. any of the other tech stuff, what was it causing you? What was the impact of those problems? Was it just you not being able to do anything at all? No, well, no, I, it didn't stop me at all. I've done it all without it, so that's fine. I just want to be able to speed things up now so that I have more time to actually spend with my clients rather than trying to get people to, to join on myself, you know what I mean? Perfect. I absolutely love this. Okay. Let's try and look at it when it comes to you being able to like do your launch, use Instagram so well to then be able to pull clients off. What was kind of like the framework from what we've put together that clicked in your head that we want to continue to use? Um, so the way that you've, you've sort of taught us to get people's attention um, by asking them a simple question that almost 80% of the world agrees with that seemed to really pull people in and I think uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep using that tool you know but asking that question that everyone needs the answer to how do I burn fat um, while only exercising 20 minutes a day you know asking those questions that's yeah 
that's been amazing and I'll definitely keep keep doing that as, as the time goes on with the, with the more that I do. So Perfect. And, okay, so we've got being able to actually get people engaging with this stuff on social media, which I think is totally important because obviously there's so many of us in the online health and fitness world wanting to kind of get people's attention. What about yeah. when it comes to the actual selling? I know a lot of trainers and coaches struggle when it comes to the selling of their online coaching programs. Do you want to walk through the ease or not ease or what it is that you actually did to doing, get these 15 clients on straight away? I think um, was offering something that they couldn't put money to. They, they couldn't go, oh, that's, you know, that's a fair bit of money. But I was offering them a result that they would pay mm. their entire wage for because that's, that's what they want and that's their happiness at the end of the day. So what I was offering them was something that they couldn't put a price on. So the money didn't mean anything. Now there's been a couple that have dropped off, dropped off on the way. And those are the people um, that, you know, it's a bit hard for them. Um, they're not my ideal clientele. Like we've been sort of learning from you in the end anyway. Um, but those were the people that, um, yeah, that the money, it mattered more to them than the end result at the end of yeah. the day the work was too hard you know that kind of thing so i think that's really cool because the way you were able to actually and this is like okay th this is really important i just had like a light bulb moment so much of the time and i know this was me like when i was a trainer and definitely when i started online you're trying to sell more stuff do you know what i mean you're trying to say i'm going to give you more meal plans or training programs yeah. or like supplement guides yeah. or like we have more one-on-one -on -one calls or whatever it's kind of like stuff 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 and people don't actually care about the stuff and where you've been able to say doing you know, you get this result this is what we're going to be yeah. working towards yeah i offered a, um i offered them a money back guarantee if they didn't get their results and i said to them um when we sit, sat down with each of them and had an initial 20 minute over the phone consultation, I said, what do you want to achieve over the next four weeks? And they said, mindset, you know, they want to learn a bit about nutrition. And so then I did a, I must do and you must do. And so I said, okay, well, I'm going to read this to you. This is what you must do for you to achieve those goals. And it's, they must log their foods. They must, um, you know, complete all of their workouts, all that kind of stuff. So it makes it impossible for them to not achieve their results if they do all of those things. So, um, so that's been really good so far and all of them are on their way to achieving their goals. And I just said to them, you know, I'm so confident that if you do this, you will get that. That's why I'm offering money back guarantees. And, um, yeah, I know that there won't be anyone who'd be asking for their money back at the end of the day. So I think that made people feel safe when yeah. joining up. They're like, Oh, I can't lose. Like it sounds like I can't lose. I can try it. I can learn a bit and then I can get my money back if it didn't work. But, um, so that's, that's been really good. I love this. Okay. Let's say looking back, what are the best lessons you've learned so far? Um, that I've, that people just want some, someone to talk to. They just want someone to keep them accountable. It's not going to be their partner sitting down on the couch, having ice cream with them at the end of the night, because that's not, that's not, you know, they can't just say to their partner, I'm, I'm trying to be good at the moment or I'm yeah. trying to improve my lifestyle. So can you help me? Cause even my partner doesn't do that. And it's like, yeah, no one's does. So people just want someone to talk to about what they're doing every day and people will pay money. So you don't, like you said, you don't have to actually offer anything. You just need to offer your support and your guidance and the fact that they can tell you um, they're paying money so they can tell you what they want whenever they want and you can just go, you're doing a great job. And that's all people really need at the end of the day. So, so you just absolutely struck gold right then, Manny, because that's the thing. People want something that's going to get them to the end result. They don't you know, yes. need all the bells and whistles and everything in the kitchen sink. To yeah. them, which and which also I also love. Them. Sorry, you go, go. Oh, and um, I was just going to say, and also making them feel a part of something so mm. I've started I've, you know I call them the BBM girls we met up last Friday night I talked to them about macros and a bit about nutrition we had a glass of wine they're all friends on Facebook now at the end of the four weeks we're planning on having a dinner together and awesome. and they feel really a part of something as yeah. well so it's not like they're doing it alone a lot of people just feel like oh well no one's watching over me anyway I can do what I want I'll just you know I'm still shit so I might just eat like shit Yep. But now all the girls are in this Facebook group together and they're posting every day and sharing recipes and they go, oh, I'm going to let all of these girls down 
yeah. if I don't stick to it, therefore they're more likely to, to hit their goals. So yes. that's been something I've learned as well that works wonders. That's so good. And I think long-term as well, because you're building a community, they're going to stay with you for so much longer. And yeah, there's so much of the coaching together as well. Do you know what I mean? Like what you said at the start of this was you've been able to get these clients on board. It's not taking that much of your actual time. You've got the ability yeah, to like stay. They post them. questions on Facebook. Um, and then the girls talk and I'm like, they just answered my question for me. Like, <laughs> you know, they, they like talk between themselves and um, I might not even have to answer that question because I say ask the group instead of sending me a private message because I want and I want you to want everyone to learn. Like yes. we're doing it together. That's why we're a team. And so they ask the question on the Facebook. I answer back on the, on the on Facebook and they all learn and that cuts 15 people that I don't mm. have to go to and talk to about the, each of those things. Yes. Awesome. Okay. I love that. No, 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 you're good. Okay. Let's wrap this up into a nutshell. And I think this is great. Let's give mm. some like tangible steps. What would your prescriptions or recommendations be for the coaches and trainers that have tuned in with us today? Um, my recommendations would be to really clean up your social media. Um, people really care about what things look like on social media. If it looks nice and it's like aesthetically pleasing, I think they will join up. Um, I posted like a, a transformation photo of my own that got like a really good response because it's eye catching. Yeah. Um, and I also targeted people that are me, like that are my age group and that are in the fitness industry that I'm in and all that kind of stuff um, that are relatable. Um, I sent out a survey, like you said, to, to just a bunch of girls that I know in the fitness industry and I asked them what, what made me different to any other trainers that they know in the industry and what they told me, I worked with that. Yeah. So they told me that I'm really relatable um, and that I am... Um, yeah, I'm achievable. Like that, my you know, yeah. my, even my body. Yeah. Way it's not like it's fake. You're so real and authentic. No, it, it's balance, and and I still say that that's a big. And I use that now. That's what I am. I'm a balance coach. So yeah. um, we had a glass of wine and talked about nutrition, and they feel better for that because there's not so much pressure um, for them anymore. They know that they can do that, and their coach isn't going to go, "Why are you?" having a glass of wine, that's not right, you know, so I use that to my advantage. And yes. I think that's something that the other, that the other guys in the cartel should do. Yeah. Definitely. Like totally. find out what their niche is, work with that. I absolutely love this, Maddie. You've knocked this out of the park. All right. What would you say the couple of best steps a trainer or a coach should do right now? The best steps would be just do what I did. Just send it out. Say that I've got spots available on my team. Join me. This is what we're doing. Um, just send it out straight away and then deal with it. Like it's, it's going to work. And if like, if you know what you're doing, if you're a good trainer, it's just going to all fall into place. Don't worry about the click funnels. Don't worry about the website. Don't worry about anything. Cause like I said, I'm making more money now. I've got like nothing automated yet. And I'm making more money now than I do in my, than I did in my full-time job. I absolutely love that. You're crushing it. Manny, thank you so much for taking the time for us today. You are an absolute blessing and I'm looking forward to <laughs> what's going to be coming up in the next 12 months. So thank you. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. A huge big thank you for Madison for being so awesome and sharing everything in this episode. Now to really make sure you get the most out of being here, the best next step is for you to go and make sure you get access into the 100K Coach Plan. This is the recording that we just recently did with a big group of trainers and coaches that's going to show you to find out what is missing in your business right now. What is it that you need to be able to do and showing you how to actually go through and make sure that you can add an extra 100k to your business in the next 12 months. So I'll make sure to pop a link below for you to be able to get access to it. Also, if you have any questions, then do make sure you comment below. We want to be able to answer them. And if you like this episode, then it'll be awesome. Do click like as well. Always, thank you for joining us and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.